So I recently moved to California, and because of that, I had to get a medical marijuana card. So I went to see a doctor. He gave me my card, but he also warned me against uh, using any waxes or oils, which weirded me out because that was something that I was actually looking forward to testing. So I went to my dispensary and I asked the guy there, what's the deal with waxes and oils? Are they dangerous? And he said, yeah, they are. They've got all of this butane in them. It's very dangerous for you. Uh, personally, I only smoke organic, which for me, when it comes to trusting someone's opinion, that's like saying they only snort ground up unicorn horn. So what's the deal with butane in marijuana waxes and oils? Uh, to find out, I decided to talk to my good friend and resident chemist, Dr. Ray Shelbergs. Hello, Ray. Hello. Thank you for, for coming on to help me out with this very important problem. What do you think? Am I going to die of butane poisoning if I smoke marijuana oils and waxes? No. Good. Um, okay. Good night, everybody. Okay. <laughs> and, um, so first, a little bit of background. So your, your product that you're talking about is sometimes referred to as dabs or earwax. Um, honey oil is yeah. another kind of a name. Um, its technical name is butane hash oil. So what they've done is you have all this plant material, right? And you need to extract out the important bits. And we do that with perfumes, right? We do that if we want any kind of natural products-based stuff. Um, and, and we use a solvent to do that, something that dissolves what we want. Turns out that THC, which is the heavy hitting chemical in pot that's going to give you that high, um, it's real soluble in butane. Okay. Um, which is good because butane is actually very volatile. That sounds dangerous. It is, and we'll get to that in a second. But that also means is once you do the extraction, so you've got your, your butane and your, your pot and the THC is coming out and a few other cannabinoids, these classic chemicals, you can just evaporate off the butane and, and it leaves you with this, this resin that's going to condense down this kind of waxy, real hard stuff um, that can evaporate down. So the key bit is there is there's not actually going to be a lot of butane left. Okay. Right? Yeah. So yeah. now that being said, Butane itself, people abuse it in like a huffing scenario. It, you know, it causes lightheadedness, kind of some feelings of euphoria. That it, there's a bunch of nasty stuff that can happen after that. But you're not going to be exposed to anything like that. You know, you're not you're not taking a butane lighter. You know, at least that's not what you've told me earlier. But no. <laughs> that's so, not what I'm into. Yeah. So that's not the danger that that butane will pose because if everyone's done their job right in in making it. What you're going to be left with is a product, a wax kind of looking product that is, I mean, packed with THC. I think what I was reading is that pots usually like 10 to 20 percent THC, depending on the variety. And there, there's a lot of range there. Um, these waxes can be 70 to 90 percent. I mean, wow, this is potent stuff. Yeah. And that, you know, you want to control the dosage. The dangerous part is in the preparation. Right. <laughs> That's the that's the real danger. So for you, I'm not worried about, you know, any kind of huffing, you actual pure butane kind of stuff. I'm not yeah. worried about that at all. But uh, but I, if I decided to start making my own waxes and oils, I might blow myself up. Yes. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Um, we use butane, and, and uh, I say that we like the royal we. Um, <laughs> when we're producing, um, say, extracting real important lovely smelling compounds for our colognes and perfumes, butane is one of these extraction solvents we use. Um, at room temperature, butane is actually a gas. Um, but if you put a little bit of pressure, you get a liquid. That's our butane lighters. You can, and any smoker um, is familiar with those. Now, the problem is, is it's also got, you know, can explode very easily. It's very flammable. A lot of people are familiar with that. Yeah. So when you're doing this whole process, People like to speed it up. <laughs> they like right. to speed it up. They got places to go. You know, they got things to do. They got Cheetos to get. I right. don't know. 
but <laughs> they try to speed it up with heat. Um, that's not good when the thing is flammable. And it's and that's okay if they were doing it in a controlled setting, which was well ventilated in a hood with proper personal protection equipment. They're not. Right. <laughs> so the problem is, is that they are speeding it up in the same way we would in a controlled environment, in a very unsafe environment. And what happens is kaboom, right. which is why the DEA is more concerned about this. They, they literally put out safety warnings and, you know, it's not the butane in the product. It's the fact that while you're making it, you might blow up a house. Gotcha. So okay. it's the same kind of a thing as the, you know, breaking bad scenario. Right. The process itself is not inherently dangerous if you actually did it like chemists do it. But no <laughs> one does that. So Got it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Ray. You've made me feel a lot better about my future smoking activities. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there you have it. I guess uh, go ahead and safely consume your oils and waxes and don't try making it at home. Leave that one to the professional chemists.